Hey guys, um, I just want to make this really short vlog just to follow up with like the Knife Mills um, comment thingy and also to give you guys little updates and upcoming stuff that's going to happen in the next month and I'm super excited. So following up with the Knife Mills thing, um, I just want to talk about YouTube comments first. I am loving all the feedback from you guys. Um, obviously I don't have many because I don't have that many subscribers, but for the little amount of subscribers I have, I'm so, so appreciative of all the comments, especially like on my Where Are You Now video. I have posted dance videos before in the past, and that video has gotten so, so much response, and I am so thankful for that. <laughs> um, obviously I'm not like a popular YouTuber or anything, so, you know, but seven comments on it that's probably like the most amount of comments i've ever received on the video and honestly i don't think that i'm that good great of a dancer because i trust me i am super what do you call it um i'm really hard on myself when i do my dance videos so i can't even know how many times i have to retry that because certain parts of it i'd be like nope i, d I didn't do that part as strong as i wanted to and then i'll just redo it and also i was so frustrated recording that thing I, it looked pretty effortless because I like did some editing and I put like two videos together. Certain parts I feel like I liked a little more. I don't know, but it was so so frustrating because there's um, our neighbor and they had people mowing their lawns, like doing their landscaping on their lawns. Like we have people that do it too, but we have I don't even know like the schedule for that thing. They just come whenever I guess it gets kind of long. I guess at the time of the day, it was their turn, and it was so annoying, and this guy is looking at me, he knew I was recording, and then he, he was just like, and I'm like, dude, hello, you're, you're killing my vibe here, I'm like trying to sweat, I'm trying to like record, and I'm sweating here, I'm sweating, I just need you to like be quiet for a bit, so like, I didn't notice the lawn mower sounds in the background, until I watched it with headphones after it's been uploaded and it got like several responses already. So like I wasn't going to go back and edit it because I, I don't know. But yeah, um, I, it's not, it's not noticeable if you're just listening to it off your phone or on the computer, but if you like wear headphones, you can like hear it and it was kind of bugged me because I'm kind of OCD about my videos <laughs> yeah I'm really 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 appreciative of all my subbies and everyone that comments and likes and gives a thumbs up and all that stuff and I am really really um excited to make more videos for you guys because I think on one of my videos one of you guys said you guys like my I just said guys a lot I think it was my knife knolls video but Someone said that they liked my makeup. It was really simple, but I mean, if you want a tutorial, I guess I'll do one. I'm not really a fan of doing makeup tutorials as my as I used to be. Um, yeah, I feel like other YouTubers do the makeup videos so well that mine's just gonna look like poo. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just try it, and then I'll try my best. I guess maybe. And I'll see how it goes. Again, continuing with the little YouTube comments thing. I am loving how much YouTubers, like famous YouTubers, are so interactive and responsive to their subscribers and in the comments and stuff. Like, you have no idea how many times I've been commenting on some of my favorite YouTubers videos because I just have like some type of idea in my head it just pops up you know and then and I've been doing that forever and I never get a response and I think this year like in the most short amount of time I've got a lot of responses and then I think one last year maybe I'm not 100% sure I think it was like last year um yeah and I'll just like show you guys some but it's like I fangirl so much in the inside when they respond back, and I'm like, <sighs> yeah, it's just like meeting a celebrity, but it's on YouTube. But I kind of think I prefer YouTube celebrities a lot more than actual celebrities. I don't know. I just feel like they're more 
human, I guess. <laughs> They're more down to earth, I should say, or just like you and me, they'll have like a normal conversation. They're a little more normal and less, I don't know. Because I feel like regular celebrities, I'd be a little more intimidated by. I don't know where I'm going with this, but you understand what I'm saying. On Sam McVeigh's video, Shay Carl cheats. Um, I commented, I feel like Zeke needed to carry the score every time he walked by. And then I'm pretty sure it was Sam because Sam's usually the one that does all the editing and stuff. He commented back, haha. And then I got 23 thumbs up. I didn't even think that that would get that many. Because I feel like all my comments are stupid, and since I never get any likes or anything on my comments, um, but yeah, I feel like everything I put is stupid because, I don't know. And on Blog Alati's video about, um, like her parents and stuff like that, I commented, and she commented back, <gasps> and I talked about, um, how my aunt told me my cousin a whole story about Vietnam and how my dad's family came and how um what's it called the communists were yeah and some of the stuff that her mom was saying I could totally relate to not me personally but like the stories my aunt was telling us and I'm like, oh my god. I'm like, that is almost exactly what happened with them. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I wonder if they were on the same boat. It was last summer from Alexis Gizal. And then she asked for, like, pickup lines. And I put, are you a pizza and a Chinese buffet? Because I'm not really feeling it. But I see you over there doing you. And I respect that. And she commented back. Oh my god. Uh, it's just amazing when YouTubers feel the same way you do or just I don't know like appreciate the words that come out of your mouth because like I said about celebrities it's almost like like whoa you you think that's cool I, I didn't I didn't know that 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 makes me feel great thank you Ugh. I don't know I appreciate people's responses so much no matter who you are along with the bad reactions thing. I'm, I'm really bad at explaining stuff if you guys can tell or not. Um, why is this thing like making me like if I whoa hold on see like how it did that it totally made me look really really bright right there for a second and then it went back to HD looking stuff I'm on an iPhone by the way. I kind of like seeing how I look before I film Especially when I want to do quick little short vlogs that I don't have to edit on go on my computer and download it and do all that hard stuff. The the other thing that I think you guys would enjoy, uh, one of my announcements, is that in this upcoming month in July, I'm going to be traveling for almost a whole month. And I'm going to be going to Hawaii and Seattle and Vancouver and LA um, to visit my mom's side of the family and then I went going to Disneyland for the 60th anniversary yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited for that and I'm kind of scared that's gonna be really crowded because I've been watching like fresh fake Disney vlogs and Sarah Bellin um vlogs and they're like oh my god it's so crowded and Haunted Mansion is like so long of a line because of the hat box ghost and I'm really scared of that I don't want it to be long lines and I just want to get on Indiana Jones really fast and Space Mountain really fast. I've literally like wrote a bunch of like I wrote a list of all the rides that I want to ride on and yeah I have like my whole Disneyland trip planned out and set up and everything yeah but with the whole me traveling and stuff I'm going to be vlogging and you guys are going to get some travel vlogs I don't know exactly when if I'm going to be doing um, editing them after or during. It depends if I'm allowed to bring the laptop with me, which I'm probably not going to be allowed to. It depends if someone else is going to bring a laptop and they're going to let me use it and such. But otherwise, I'm going to 
to see if I can make a few uh, videos this week and pre-set them to upload. Yeah. I think that's what it's going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. Maybe I know I want to do a collective haul of a bunch of stuff I have bought this past month. Because I got a whole lot of stuff from online shopping. Yeah. And I kind of want to do a tag. I probably want to end up doing the Disney tag. Just because. I mean, I don't really have any other video ideas. I mean, I have a few. But they take a little bit of process. And I feel like the Disney tag, I could just do it. Just right away, straight on, you know. Oh, if there's any of you dancers out there... Um, or, I mean, like, former dancers or dancers that haven't danced in a while, including myself. Um, I haven't done or stretched a full split since, like, March or something. And I tried it today. I, pr I pretty much have it. It's just that, like, um, I've had my full split, like, where I'm flat, flat on the ground and, like, my, um my pelvis and like my hips and all that stuff touch the ground but right now it's like like the bone part isn't touching the ground yet so now I'm just sitting there and I'm like it hurts it hurts but yeah I'm gonna have to keep stretching and stuff because I don't want to lose my flexibility because it's really cool to be flexible and like do high kicks and I don't know. I do a bunch of like toe touches and splits and aerials and all that stuff. Oh, and I just thought of this video idea kind of. Um, I was thinking of doing a why I left Hollister video. I don't know if you guys knew, but I used to work at Hollister and maybe talk about my personal experiences maybe and how I think about company or just give my overall opinions and or like why I left why I yeah why I left um and I, I won't post it or make the video unless you guys want me to so if you guys want to see that video then leave in the comments like I want to see the why you left Hollister video I don't know something like that I don't know if you guys knew, but VidCon is the 23rd to the 25th, I think. And the 25th is when I'm going to be going to Disneyland and stuff. So if any of you guys are going to be doing, going to Disneyland then, um, be on the lookout for me. I'm not going to uh, California Adventures because I just went two years ago. And I don't think anything really changed besides, like, World of Color. Yeah. Um, but anyways, VidCon is, I think, at the Hilton right across the street. And I know the Disney day for VidCon is the 26th, but in it, but I'm going the 25th. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be, like, YouTubers possibly walking around, like, on their break from doing all the panels and stuff. But, oh my god, if I would see a YouTuber and meet one, I'm going to, like, ah! I'm going to, like, fangirl so hard. <sighs> because I don't see a lot of celebrities anywhere like ever so when I was talking earlier about like the comments that's like my closest celebrity interaction probably so if I would meet any youtuber or just like a youtuber I know at Disneyland on that day but I'm pretty sure I have a feeling I'm probably not going to just because not many are going to be there and also since it's so crowded because of the 60th anniversary but yeah but Wish me luck. I know this is a really long talking vlog, so I'm really sorry if you guys are annoyed with me. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and are excited for the stuff that's upcoming. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And to give this video a big thumbs up. And again, to comment below if you guys have any video um, requests for me to do in about... The why I left Hollister. If you guys want me to do that, then say that. Um, and besides that, I think that's gonna be it. So, peace. And don't forget to subscribe.